What's up everybody? It's KR086 and as you can see with the opening of this video, uh, I'm a huge fan of Dandadan. Okay, I've gotten so hooked. I just recently watched the 8th episode. I have this funny feeling. Uh, I believe that's what it's called. I, I've got this funny feeling. That's what it's called. I'm sorry. But uh, yeah, I just watched the last episode, this past episode, and oh, good lord, it's just constantly feeding me with some good stuff. Okay, uh, oh man, this this show has uh, obviously just completely um, completely was a surprise for me. I love the show. Uh, it turns out that the whole story is basically a romantic comedy. An anime that's a romantic comedy. You I, I, I can't say that I've seen a, a romantic comedy anime um, before. Maybe I have. I don't know. But it's obvious that it's a romantic comedy. It's also got uh, a mix. Of, it's like a parody of uh, horror and sci-fi uh with the aliens and the yokai and like some of it's scary i mean for goodness sake i was freaking out uh in this past episode um i don't want to spoil it for anybody who hasn't seen the episode just yet but i was a little freaked out at one point of this episode i was like oh good lord like it gives you just enough scare it, it, it gives you just enough like uh jump scare moments and like horror moments but mixed in with sci-fi elements and a little bit of horror sci-fi elements and a lot of the romantic comedy especially between the main characters uh momo isa and ken takahura also known as okuru it is good um and <laughs> and I love Okarin's like uh, transform state. Oh, good gracious, that is the best. It's like a complete his transform state is so much. It is a complete personality change, and I love it. Okay, it's it's enjoyable. Um, but for those of you who haven't seen Dan to Dan just yet, the story is basically. Um, uh, I'll give you the main plot point is that you have Okurin or uh, Ken Takakura Takamura Takakura Takakura uh, Ken Takakura <laughs> sorry Ken Takakura who's your typical science nerd sci-fi nerd okay he believes that aliens exist and all that stuff um, who runs into MoMA or I, uh, Momo Ayase, who happens to be just a typical middle school teenage girl. Ken is also a teenage boy. Uh, they're both in school, middle school, I believe. But um, Momo Ayase has just broken up with her boyfriend, and she is uh, well-known, well-versed in the uh, occult or the... Namely, the yokai and demons and all that stuff. And, um, Shuto priestess, blah, 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 blah. Uh, she understands the world of spirits. He understands the world of aliens. And they don't believe that... Uh, each one doesn't believe that the other exists. Uh, however, they make a bet. <laughs> they make a little bet. Uh, for each of them to go to like a particular spiritual uh, for Okran a spiritual place uh, that's said to be haunted and for um, Momo to go to a place that's abandoned that there's been uh, mentions of aliens there and lo and behold they both realize that the other thing exists like Okran uh, Ken ends up uh, getting chased and possessed by an evil spirit known as Turbo Granny, and Momo gets abducted by aliens uh, that want to uh, experiment on uh, the private area, private regions, in order to uh, 
I think they said something along the lines of trying to repopulate their species and learn the I, how to repopulate their species. I could be wrong. It's been a it's been a minute since I saw the first episode, and I should I should have probably rewatched everything and got myself acquainted. But that's basically the gist of it. And needless to say, uh, it becomes a story of like uh, them dealing with spirits and dealing with aliens, and the aliens uh, and the spirits actually helping them beat the aliens. I'm getting a little too far ahead of myself, but let's just say it's pretty good. Uh, it's enjoyable, and I, I I highly recommend it as a watch if you're into anime. Oh, good lord. Even if you're not into anime, if you like horror or aliens and all that stuff, I would suggest this even if you're not a fan of anime, just because, and if you like the humor and uh, uh, the feeling of a romantic comedy. But in all honesty, the show is pretty good. Um, the characters are really well uh, created, well crafted, uh, well written, in all honesty. Um, and I definitely love Momo's gra uh Everybody loves Momo's grandma. <laughs> She is not the typical grandma. She is a hot granny, okay? She is a hot grandma. Good Lord. I don't know how, like, she looks, she looks like she's in her 20s. Like, anime-wise, she looks like she's in her, like, 20s or 30s, early 30s. But she's, like, in her, like, 60s or 70s or something like that. And <laughs> even, even, like, uh, one of the characters later on in, Actually, in the episode I was watching, the beginning of the episode, she was like, that's impossible for that to be your grandma. She's too young. <laughs> but uh, overall, it's a good show. You should definitely check it out. Um, I don't know. That's pretty much it for this video. But until next time, you guys, uh, hopefully you check it out. Uh, hopefully you love it just as much as I do. It's on eight episodes so far. It comes out every thursday uh every thursday on crunchyroll uh so if you have a crunchyroll subscription definitely check it out and it also has it's not just subtitle it's not just a japanese dub it's also english dub so you can check out both versions of it anyways i'm out you guys have a good day peace out